on that game. So Eric, I just wanted to hear your thoughts uh, about Moses' potential in the EuroLeague. Also knowing that Olympiacos made this move only because Milutinov got injured, Mustafa Fala are all injured. They might be out for another month or a little bit longer. So, you know, it's not going to be easy for Moses to stick in a front line where they also have Filip Petrushev, Luke Sigma, Alec Peters. So what do you think uh, about Moses Wright and his chances of becoming a solid EuroLeague player that will save his roles, will save his minutes, even with all these injured guys uh, getting back to the rotation at some point of the season? If I had one word to describe Moses Wright, in the words of my friend John Holland, Dog, <laughs> that boy is tough. I mean, the motor, energy. You, he plays hungry like he wants it. He's got a lot of resort in them when it comes to like playing through the contact, the energy, going for the rebounds, fighting. He doesn't have that defensive presence yet. That's what's missing. That's that step he needs to take to be able to guard, to be able to do those type of things. But I think the potential is there. But I think when you're on a smaller team, you're just so focused on offense. But the way he finishes, hard right, shoulders, he has to learn how to pass a little bit. Um, that's the struggle for a lot of bigs coming from a lower level team when um, you're the focal point of the offense, when you have that ball. Um, now you're playing with higher level guys. So when that double team comes, you got to be able to kick that ball out. You got to be able to make certain reads. I think, but <clears throat> man, he can put the ball on the floor. He can attack to the right. He can finish right hand. He's athletic, he's strong, he goes through the contact, great rebounder, great energy, effort, motor, um, a lot of the sort in him. So I, I like the sign and I like the move. I think um, he has huge potential, but he must learn to play the European style game. Right now he's in bucket mode, um, you know, coming from the G League, coming from that mindset is, you know, you got to get yours. And if he can incorporate being who he is, being that scorer, getting yours within that team flow, I think he could be really good in the ground, but he's going to have to adopt his game because Barjoka's style is different. Um, but expect some big games, some impact. Expect also ups and downs. He's young. It's his first time dealing with this. He's going from a situation where he was getting 15 to 17 shots a night to now it's probably going to be six to seven shots. He's going to a situation where he was having a ball, where he was getting post-ups, where now he's just going to be screening and cutting. So give him some time to adapt. But, man, that – that young man is going to be really good. And shout out to Dennis Lee, right? This is Euro lead you. If you're a young player, you want to show your stuff, you want to go somewhere, you pick a team that has a history of producing players, right? So if you think this year, Daniel Otoro leaves after, what, six weeks? He's an animal too, by the way. But leaves Dennis Lee, gets bought out by FS, and continues to dominate, Um at FS um, in Turkish lead and Euro lead, sh leaving no signs of a drop off. Uh, Moses, right now, from Dennis Lee straight to um, Olympiacos. I think that was in like three or four weeks. And then if you go back to last year, Heidegger got bought out from Dennis Lee, went to Basconia. And then they had also a Greek guard, and excuse my pronunciation of his last name, but Nikos Rapolopoulos. Or R he was a three man. Yeah. Rapolopoulos. Yeah. So he was the three man. He also went to Basconia. And so it's at this point now where if you play at Dennis Lee and you play good, you're going to the EuroLeague. It's a EuroLeague pipeline. <laughs> so if I, for the agents out there, keep sending your guys, I guess, because oh, they're doing something right. So a lot of respect to them. Management's doing something good, getting money, buying, uh, selling players, getting money, keeping the organization up afloat, and continually to find good players. They're targeting good young players. But Moses right. Yo, he's a guy to watch. Um, you know, I tried to tell y'all about Jonathan Motley. Tried to tell y'all about Darius Thompson. You know, try to warn y'all. And, you know, y'all continue to disregard sometimes an athlete speaking on it because, you know, I'm still playing. But Moses Wright is like that. But I'm worried about the system for him, you know, because Olympiacos isn't a big man system. But he is like that. So we will see. Um, it's going to be interesting. But a lot of good bids in Turkey. A lot of good bid. What's his contract situation? Is because I saw somewhere where he signed like for one month with a chance to sign to the end of the season. Uh, Moses. Yeah. It, I think it. He has an option after the season to stay with Olympiacos. Okay. So he should remain until the end of the season, okay. and then there will be an option to to keep him or not. Okay. Because I was looking at that situation, I thought that was a big part 
because I read somewhere where it was one month with a chance for in the season. So I thought for him and his style of play, I thought that would be tough. Yeah. And I didn't think it would work out because I think he needs time. Like 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 Eric said, he he's good and that potential is there. You can see it. So I think with giving him time to figure it out, to adjust, see where he can do play his game and add, you know, I think that's going to change a lot for him at Olympiacos. I think it's going to change Olympiacos' season for what he does. You know, with their situation with the big men, with all their bigs they have, I think it's going to be a little bit hard for him to adjust down the line when they do get fully healthy. But I think it's a great, I think it's a great pickup. You know, I actually, I played him this year in China. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'd seen his work that he did in China the year before and I saw what he did when he got there, when he played against us. And, you know, you can see the talent. Now, I definitely see what Eric's talking about where he's in that mindset where he has to go get his. You know, he's coming from G League, coming from playing in the CBA where two places where, you know, you have to get your stats in order to get to where you want to get to. So once he figures out that, you know, I just need to fit in and blend in and everything's going to take care of itself, then he's, he's going to be able to play in that Euro League anywhere, not just Olympiacos. I think also, too, on a higher level team.